Hi everyone. So what I thought I would do this week in the mini series of new note-taking apps is look at Dendron. And what Dendron is, it's a note-taking tool which has been built on top of Microsoft VS Code or Visual Studio Code. So it's not a standalone app per se. However, it is local first and it saves your markdown files locally. It is open source and it is free. And in a similar sort of way as the other note-taking apps, it does allow you to have backlinking between your notes, as well as the graph view and many other features. And how Dendron tries to differentiate itself from the other note-taking apps is it tries to find a midpoint between the rigid hierarchical structure and the open structure of solely relying on backlinks for your notes. So what we'll do is we'll just get started on Dendron and we'll show you how to get it installed and up and running. So if you go to dendron.so, which is the homepage of the project, you can find here a lot of information and great explanations of how the app was set up, what it aims to achieve, and how it runs. But what we'll do is just do a video to get it up and running and installed. So we'll click on install. And as I said, it's, it's built on top of VS Code, so you need to be sure you have VS Code installed. If you do not, you can click the link here or you can search it in your search engine, search VS Code or Visual Studio Code, and this will bring up this sort of page. And what you can do is download it for free, for Mac, for Linux, or for Windows. So once you've got it installed, uh, downloaded and installed for your machine, and it's up and running, you should get something which looks like this. And once you get to this stage, what I found easiest is just to go to the left, the last little box or option is which is extensions, and in here, ignoring everything else, just click or type Dendron. And what we just want is we just want the first one. And what this will do is it will, it will install the extension or the workspace in VS Code. So we'll just give it a moment just to finish up. So once it's installed, you will see the installation is now changed to uninstall. And what we just need to do is do Control Shift P. And this will bring up some options and we just want to type initialize so that we get dendron initialize workspace come up we'll click on that one it will give you the suggested or recommended location of where to save it you can leave it as it is or you can change it to whatever you wish it to be and just for the purposes of this one i'll just call it testing and i shall click enter and then that gives you the choice to either install with some tutorial notes which are in essence um, markdown files which have been prepared for the tutorial or initialize an empty repository which is basically just an empty shell but what we'll do is just to show you how it how you can install it and how it what it aims to achieve is we'll do the initialize with tutorial notes so we'll click on that one this will bring up a lot of files on the side and change a few things so we'll get to that in a sec. And as you can see here on the left, on the right hand side, it says, do you want to install the recommended extensions? What I recommend doing is just clicking show recommendations, get rid of other recommendations and just install a few of them. So you want to install Dendron Markdown shortcuts, the paste image, Markdown links and Markdown notes. And what we'll do is I will just uninstall or disable the GitHub theme because I prefer it to be black on mine. So that's it, that's it up and running. So now we have Dendron uh, workspace installed and we have the various different files. As I said earlier, it saves the files locally. So you can see here in VS Code, we have these different files. So for example, if I go to Dendron FAQ, you can see that it it's basically a markdown style format um, and if I go to the same location of where I saved it which we called it testing in this case and I go to vault and I go to the same file dendron FAQ and I double click on it so this is save or this has opened it up in notepad and this basically just gives you the, the security and guarantee that you've always got access and control over your notes. They're saved on your machine. You can now copy and paste uh, these notes in Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, wherever you so choose to save them, just, have a, just to have a separate backup. 
and you will always have access. It's not proprietary or it's not locked into a certain format. These are markdown file formats and you can open them with Notepad or with Dendron. And what the good thing about Dendron is, as you can see, this is markdown. It's quite difficult to read. If you click on the right hand side up here, you've got markdown preview and we'll click on that one and it will just load and this will give you a bit like an HTML rendered page and it basically is the same notes as you can see in markdown style on the right hand side in a rendered version. And this just makes it a little bit easier to read. And how Dendron differentiates itself from the other note taking apps, as you can see, it's got Dendron dot or, um, or for example, it's got journal dot uh, at the bottom. So it just tries to separate out, for example, all of the Dendron ones, all of the Dendron notes, which are Dendron topic are within here. And what you would typically have in a previous note taking app, such as OneNote, you would maybe have a folder called Dendron, another folder called topic, and then the image file within there. And you would just get siloed and you would never find it or you would never come across it unless you were actively looking for it. I've had many notes which I've saved and I never came across them again up until reviewing them while I was exporting. Another cool thing that Dendron has is if you look on the bottom, and I quite like tweaking this slightly, so I just clicked on outline and dragged it here. We don't need a terminal so we can get rid of that one. And we'll get the tree view in here as well and we'll get the backlinks as well. So what you can see here, this is the, the hierarchical structure. You can see you've got the Dendron. If I click on Dendron, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Within Dendron, you've got some case studies, you've got some demos, some dev files, some tips or topics. And if I click on topics, it will show me the notes. And if I click on, for example, graph view, this will bring up the note. In the preview pane, if I click on that one, it will bring it up. And as you can see here, these, this is the structure of the file, the outline of it. So think of the outline a bit like a, a, a chapter and, and paragraphs of the file. So you've got graphy, you've got commands, and then you've got Dendron show graph notes. And what you've also got in the middle is some backlinks. So this file is being linked to these different files. So as you can see, explore the graph. And then from this file, these are being linked to these sort of different files. And what was really good, I found, was it saves your notes locally. So as I say, you can go in here, anything that you change here. So for example, let's just delete. Uh, in fact, we can delete all of the notes, just as an example, apart from the root. So just make sure you don't delete that one. If I delete all of these notes, I can go to the vault. I can see it's actually doing it there and then, and it's sim similar sort of way. If I add a new note, I will see it within here, and then it just means that I've got total control over my notes. What I'll do in the next few videos is focus a bit more on the features and how this app differentiates it itself from the other apps, but I hope you found that useful of how to get it set up and installed. Thank you very much.